Good morning. This week, we are recognizing our ministry partners serving in Ignite Student Ministries. Little Ones, Bridge Kids, Awana, Good News Club, First Priority, Life of Faith Girls Club, and the Champions for Christ Boys Club. Little Ones ministry partners play with, supervise, change diapers, and teach lessons to the littlest ones of the bridge. By the time they graduate from preschool, we want them to leave with three basic truths. God made them, God loves them, and Jesus wants to be their friend forever. Adventure Zone breaks into three groups, kindergarten, first to third grade, and the tweens, fourth and fifth grade, each group reaching their specific age needs. Our motto is partnering with parents and leading kids to Jesus Christ, teaching them to worship him, walk with Him, willingly serve Him, and win their friends to Him. A Life of Faith Girls Club is a once a month club for girls in third to eighth grade. Based on the Elsie Dinsmore and Millie Keith books by Mission Press, this very special club teaches young girls on the brink of womanhood to live a life of faith. The club also sponsors events such as tea parties for moms and their daughters, and father-daughter date nights. Champions for Christ Boys Club is a club just for boys in grades three to six. Boys Club strives to train young men to be champions for Christ, using biblical principles, well-known sports figures as role models, as well as sports and activities to teach teamwork and sportsmanship. We also teach a lesson on a biblical character trait, using a Christian sports athlete as a role model. Awana meets weekly during the school year for kids three years old all the way up to 12th grade. Awana is an international program that helps churches and parents work together to develop spiritually strong children and youth who faithfully follow Jesus Christ. Here, kids participate in games, biblical memorization, and council time. Ignite Students for Middle and High School features a small group atmosphere where students have discussions based on a variety of lessons, games, music, team building, and hangout time for students to connect with each other, our leaders and Jesus. We really want our students to discover that the Christian life can be fun. I have been attending the Bridge Church now since November, so that's about 10 months. The second week, I wanted to let Pastor Pete know how much his preaching had meant to me because it was really ministering to my heart in my time. And uh, I went up to talk to him and tell him about it, and I got started and couldn't even get the words out. I just broke down. Pete threw his arms around my neck and he prayed for me, and I said, this is where I want to be. A friend invited me to start coming here and there was like something about this church that made me feel welcomed and loved. So I, like, I kept going here and started to get more involved and involved. I know that I'm all right because you give to me something to hold on to. We found the Bridge Church back in 1995 when a friend brought us to the bridge. It used to be called the Florida Bible Church. When I had come back from college, I was looking for a place that I could worship. And Marjorie and Bill Kendall actually started a Kayam ministry, which was for college age and young adults. We were able to 
come together and from there the magic happened. <laughs> so that's how I became a member of the Bridge Church. We were driving by one day with the kids and we didn't know what it was and we drove in and I said, well, we're gonna give it a try, kids. We stopped in, I took the kids to their classes, I went to church, the kids came out excited and we've been here ever since. I used to drive in front of this church, but somehow it just didn't, I did not know anything about it. And one Sunday I decided to come in and I didn't bring my children in at first. So I said, okay, let me go check it out first before I bring them in. And I came in and I knew I was at home. I knew right away I was at home. I've always had a passion for working with kids and being around kids and helping kids. It really benefits me and like giving me joy being around kids and seeing them like smile and learn about God. You give me something to hold on to. I like also spending time with children. You'll be surprised how encouraged they are and how they remember that you were there for them. We have the kids, but those kids go back into their homes. The next thing I know, the kids coming back saying, hey, Miss Sharon, you just don't believe it. My mommy trusts Christ. Just being around young people, believe it or not, when you teach and they're able to relate what you're teaching to real life and make it applicable to them. And so I thought the most important thing that we will ever make in our lives is where we spend our eternity. The reason I serve, I, like I mentioned before, is because for me, I'm not at home unless I'm giving in. If I'm just coming to sit down on Sundays, I'm just sitting down, I'm just visiting and I don't like to just be sad. Serving in general, it just brings me joy and it makes me feel like I'm like, this is what I'm really called to do on this earth. As a man of God and serving at the bridge, we just need to focus on God's word. And especially during these trial moments with the pandemic and everything that's going on in our country, just focus on God and his promises. God's word gets in your heart and your mind and it changes your life. The prayer of my heart is that God will raise up a godly generation of young men and women who are committed to God and are gonna carry the gospel forward after I'm gone. One of my special memories is when I first started in Iwana. There were two twins and they were very, very shy. They were homeschooled and they blossomed and grew so much. And by the time, cause I have kindergarten through second grade and by the time they got out of second grade, they were like two different children and the mom couldn't believe it. And they just love God even more. And I've heard they're doing really exciting things. There was this one girl that particularly, I knew she didn't care for me. Years later, I ran into her one Sunday morning and she came over and she says, so I've been looking for you. I was looking for you, specifically for you. And she says, I want you I want to tell you something. When she was applying for college, she had to do an essay. And she says, I want you to know that her essay was on women that influenced me. And this young woman included me. And that's why I emphasize, don't give up on those kids that you think that you're not touching. Reach out, they're there. It's exciting to me to be in conversation, a bunch of kids sitting around or whatever, and one of the kids that I had in my class years before, will say, well, Mr. Harvey said one time, and they relate what was taught. And when you don't think they're getting it, they're getting it. And you see that bridge is being built to their future. And uh, that's my goal, to be that bridge that will move young people particularly toward God, toward a closer walk with Him. And young people truly are the future. I am the bridge. 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 I am the bridge.